Hello and welcome. I'm Maria Ressa and this is your Noontime Wrap. It's a record high. More Filipinos expect Christmas in 2015 to be happy at 72%, the highest in 12 years. That's higher than 71% in 2014. Social weather stations points to a record high number saying it's better to give with 77%, two points higher than 2014, 75%. Asia's largest Roman Catholic nation's church leader, Manila Archbishop Luis Antonio Cardinal Tagle, said to welcome Jesus and the hungry, thirsty, homeless. In Paris, Christmas Eve was subdued with tourist numbers down, security bolstered at shops and churches, and people still on edge after last month's jihadist attacks. In China, U.S. and British embassies warned of possible violence against Westerners in Beijing. In Somalia, religious authorities canceled Christmas out of fear festivities could provoke attacks by the Al-Qaeda-linked Shabab. That doesn't compare to the fear of celebrating Christmas in the Syrian town of Sadad on the front lines with ISIS. Sadad was once the country's predominantly Syriac Orthodox majority town where only a few families remain. <laughs> Two legends in the fields of journalism and sports die Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. The Philippine Daily Inquirer announced Thursday night its editor-in-chief, veteran journalist Leti Jimenez Magsanok, is dead. Magsanok's career spanned several decades as editor-in-chief of Panorama under the Marcos regime. She was forced to resign after writing an article critical of the government. It was seen as one of the key moments in the anti-Marcos movement in the 1980s. She later became one of the founders of Inquirer and eventually became its editor-in-chief beginning 1991. The other sad news this Christmas is the death of Ron Jacobs, the American basketball coach who introduced new tactics to Philippine basketball during the 80s and 90s. He died at the age of 72. No official cause of death has been reported, but Jacobs was unable to walk or speak after a stroke in 2001. As coach of the Philippine national team, he helped win the 1982 Asian Basketball Confederation Youth title and 1985 William Jones Cup. <laughs> Miss Universe 2015 Pia Wurzbach sends a Christmas Day message to runner-up Ariadna Gutierrez. Wurzbach says, quote, To Ariadna, you are an amazing woman and we're now bonded together forever by a unique experience. She adds, Fate has a plan for you and I'm excited to see what's ahead. On Coronation Night, host Steve Harvey announced Miss Columbia won Miss Universe but immediately apologized for his mistake. <laughs> That's your Noontime Wrap. I'm Maria Ressa. Join us again at 6 p.m. for the day's headlines.